Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. She is. Maybe there's something exciting. I don't know, but this is going to be my read for Cancer. And it is going to be raw love. Whatever comes in, comes in. Okay, it's going to be important because it's 8-8. Important messages are another reason why I'm banging these out today. So, I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to do your Cancer. Your raw love. Whether it's love, work, whatever message you can. It was just 35. I don't know if that's important to you guys. It does break down to an 8. Okay? Cancer. Okay. Hoo-wee. Blue. The Omega Dragon. Alright. And at the bottom of the deck, you got the Black Dragon from Saturn. So, again, congratulations. Somebody else had that. Okay. I can't remember who. Look for the black next to the Raw Loves. And watch that video. It could be linked to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because it's green. But you passed a test. But at the bottom, you have the, um, this is what you pulled, the Omega Dragon. So uh, that's linked to the eight to hold your vision. You're giving birth to higher consciousness right now. Like your intention right now, like for an affirmation, tell yourself, I will hold my vision. I will hold my vision. Whatever your vision is, even if you don't have one, ask for it. I got the goosebumps. It's important. So you're working with blue and green right now. But um, your divine feminine power of creation. Whew. Get creative and use that divine power. I'm a cancer son, so this is... It just screamed something to me. And I'm sorry for those who don't like that I just brought myself into the read. Boo-hoo. Get over it. Okay? I don't read for myself ever. I'm content in life. <laughs> All right, but maybe maybe this is a cheers. Boo-hoo to whomever is hating you right now. I don't know. All right, but I got a big old smile on my face. Right? So, but that just, it actually just gave me an idea to do with you guys. So, appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so that is beautiful. And, a, and, and wow, I just said... And a congratulations, right? That is a big congratulations. You passed a test. All right. And again, it's, it's linked to some earth sign. I did do it earlier. So remember to look for those colors. Okay. With you, it's, it's blue, green. All right. Let's get into this. Cancer, cancer, cancer. August 15th through the 31st. You have the five of water, the justice, so you're upset about something currently. You try to let it go. You got the four of earth and the queen of fire and the hierophant. And you got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with Aries. So, karmically something is going to be balanced for you. It's like, hold on. It's, it's time to get your passion back, especially with with this, whatever, this divine power. That is divine power, okay? Like, that's, that's passion, divine passion again. So for those who lost their passion, you're about to get it. Somehow you're linked to either the Aries read. I got to let Lucy in. You're linked with this because it's two fours, so whatever you... Hold on, Lucy. Whatever this is, you need to use your intuition, my little Cancerians. Okay. So, and you might have been seeing fours a lot, too. It's a stable. It's a solid. It's a solid number, too. Okay. So, let's, um, let's see what this is saying for you. Whatever this sorrow is, it's kind of petty. Let it go. And it's, it's, it's hard to say that. I mean, it is and it isn't, right? Because it's like, um, I was going to say, where's your dragon card? It was under my leg. It's, it's hard to, to say that to you guys, but it's, they're saying it's kind of, it's kind of petty. And when I get upset, it's never petty, right? But it kind of is. You might just have the petty energy around you, but don't worry about it. Karmically, it's going to be balanced, Okay. So, 
use your divine power if you're a divine feminine i mean if you're a divine masculine get in tune you gotta get in tune with that yin and yang that's why justice is here okay five of water cancer cancer five of water so you're about to get a message could be from a libra let's see what we get tell me about justice You have very intense energy right now. Well, you will. Tell me about justice. Yeah. This is karmic justice. You learned that lesson. Congratulations. You have learned a lesson. It couldn't have been easy. You do have energy around you, though, that's... That's kind of petty whether it's linked to you or something else. But you're going to get a message regarding it. So I'm not really sure what that's about. But we'll, we'll look into it. Tell me about the four earth. To me, this is, this is hold on. Yeah, judgment. It's going to be up to you whether or not you're going to want to resurrect something. And it could have to do with something that's linked to your lesson. I'm not quite sure. Tell me about the queen of fire. Oh, I think you were in the ring of fire. The ring of fire. Johnny Cash just came to me. And it's the nine of wands reversed. So what this is telling me is you're vulnerable right now. And I don't see the vulnerability, but it's here. So be careful making this decision. Be careful what it is you want to resurrect. Because there's two people here too that have been through a battle, a shit ton of something, right? But yo, whomever's coming back into your picture is just as vulnerable as you are. Tell me about that. There was temperance, but tell me about the eight of fire. Let's find out what this message is regarding. All I know is that you're going to get a message. All I know is you're going in a new direction. Something karmically is being balanced right now. You, there's some type of offer. But be careful. Because this is an offer of somebody who's bored. Or don't take it out of boredom. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like that combo. It looks like the person that's messaging you is holding on to something petty. And they're only messaging you out of boredom. So be careful. And if you're doing this to somebody, don't. It's not cool. But you've also learned a major lesson here. Some Something's about to karmically be balanced. Don't forget. So you be real careful on whether or not you want to resurrect this. Because whomever is coming at you to or vice versa, you're both is vulnerable. So tell me about judgment. It's, it's up to you. The universe is saying, you want to resurrect it? Go ahead. But... There is a little bit of a warning that whoever wants to resurrect resurrect something looks a little bored. There is a connection, but in this new start at the bottom, look at look at you. Do you really want that new start with this person? I don't know what this is regarding. But it's like you know better. It's like you learned a lesson. Looks like you're walking away. Looks like you healed from a situation and a connection. And it looks like you're walking away. Okay, so let's get your best advice. <clears throat> you learned a lesson. Something amazing is going to come your way. You know, you have that that power, that creation, that the queen of fire energy, right? It's the feminine power. You can create what you want. Hold your vision. But you also need to use your higher conscious. So whatever's happening here, just be a little cautious. Best advice for my Cancerians. Best advice for my Cancerians. I'm actually going to pull on the Emperor for you. Best advice for my Cancerians. Best advice for my Cancer. Okay, so... Yeah, three. Here you go. Careful, careful, careful. 
computer's balancing, buddy. All right, oop. So you have the nine of water. All right, a wish is going to come true. Con concerns are going to fade away. You got, you also have the five of fire, which you're going to find yourself in bothersome details. You might be some conflict with others, and it's ironic because what did I say to you? Boo-hoo to anybody that don't like it, right? And then you got the seven of air, which is part of that conflict. Okay, so it's it's like there's more going on that meets the eye. It's like you're not you're not seeing something. Your plans need to be revised, or it's wh whomever this person is coming at you, because you have something beautiful coming, which is a wish coming true. So you're dealing with two two things, troops. Oh, and look that flip the page of water. So if somebody's coming at you with an apology, or it's a new person that's gonna enter your life. They're saying it's new. Tell me about the emperor. Looks like you're going to walk away from an old connection and then a new one's going to come in. So I'd be careful because it looks like this person that's about to hit you up or vice versa is bored. That's that's not cool. All right. Do they really want that new start? I don't know what's coming your way. But your best advice, once again, is the seven of air. And you had that seven of air was the best advice over the weekend. And, it, and it's hard to read. But it looks like there's a cancer holding on to you. or they got, They're got they coming in with their fourth house because you got 44, right? They're coming in in their fourth house and their cancer energy. But, like, they're only messaging you because they're bored. So right now I say you've learned this damn lesson. You majestic little Cancerian. What karma handle it? I wouldn't want that conflict. You got somebody brand new coming at you. And wishes are going to come true. It's like you passed a test. So now that you have that strength or whatever's happening, something's going to go down. For you to see whether or not you're going to accept it or not. Because if you ask me, it looks like you're walking away from a connection. You had a connection with somebody, but it's you know better. You also know you have a brand new adventure. You might not be like super happy that you had to walk away. But I'd be really smart here. <clears throat> really smart. Best advice for this emperor energy. Because the fool is reversed, so it's like... This person's kind of careless right now. I, I don't think it's, it's linked to Aries like that, like I said earlier. You know, but I, I don't know. I think so. Because now it says a new opportunity. Your life is going to change. So I, I'm thinking... It's weird because they don't want the full reverse is what I'm just... I heard. So you have an Aries coming at you. Watch Aries. Karmic justice is coming. Dreams are coming true. You do have someone from the past that you had a beautiful connection with and you've learned a lesson. Could it be a twin? Maybe. It, it looks like your best advice is to, is to let that go. Because once again, your advice was the Seven of Swords. Like, revise your plans. Like, you have a new path coming at you. You got new love coming at you. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I love you guys. Um, if you're interested in a reading, I'm still doing readings. You can click the link below. And, oh yeah, look at Hermit. That was linked to Aries too. You can link, click the link below in, in the description box and there's a read there. If you would like an emergency read, I do offer those within 24 to 48 hours, depending on my schedule. Okay. Um, but... Congratulations, like honestly, because you're about to get that passion back and you really need to hold your vision. You passed a test. Be careful. Because in all reality, they were like this. So it's like, this is you, the one that came out, right? Moving forward. Then you got this one that was in your past. It's not in your past. I don't know if you want to look back. It's black and white. It's good and dark. Right now you're in the white light, right? You're in a dark period, and you found your way out. 
looks like you're an Aries coming at you or somebody in that energy. And you're about to have a new life. Ooh. I love you guys.